Good morning. It is 6.34 a.m. on Wednesday, September 20th, 2017. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up. This is five more minutes. I woke up before my alarm today, um, and it was one of those times where it still looks dark outside. You kind of have to go to the bathroom. But what time is it? You know the alarm hasn't gone off yet. Is it in the middle of the night? Is it almost time to get up? Uh, and uh, turned out it was uh, 10 minutes before the alarm, so went ahead and got up. Uh, but yeah, you know, I went to bed uh, a little early last night, which uh, was probably a good thing. Um, and also what I did last night is I spent more time uh, reading through the uh, Tomb of Annihilation adventure module, and it's just, there's... There's some great stuff in there. Um, I'm very pleased with it. Uh, I feel like out of all of the Wizards of the Coast uh, adventure modules that I have read, I think it's my favorite. Um, I mean, I'm really enjoying the Curse of Strahd uh, that I'm running, uh, and it's, uh, you know, uh, in, but it, it's got its own very specific s style, right? The gothic horror of it, which I enjoy. But at the same time, the jungle Indiana Jonesy sort of adventure, uh, Tomb Raidery, uh, you know, tombs <laughs> uh, in Tomb of Annihilation are, I would say, probably more my up my alley in terms of like, I like those things even more. Uh, so yeah, I'm really digging it, and I'm uh, excited to uh, try running it. Uh, but, you know, I'm also, like, all of this feeds in and is inspiration for my own campaign, and, it, and it's got me definitely thinking that short of trying to write an entire campaign guide or uh, uh, setting guide, maybe I could just take some of the bits and pieces that I've done already uh, and make those as, like, adventures like individual adventures to be done on the, um, like DM's Guild or whatever. And uh, I think there's several of them that uh, would uh, would work well in that regard. Um, you know, nice little self-contained bits. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's so it's overall it's a very satisfying creative endeavor playing with all that stuff. Um, but I've also like had, uh, you know, I have kind of a busy week at work this week. So, um, I've been having to spend a lot of, uh, mental energy doing like, you know, it's not like I'm not always working, but, uh, I'm having to concentrate a little bit more, having to do a little bit more deep thinking with some of the stuff I'm doing this week. And then, uh, I'm going to have to be in the field running some tests on Friday, probably. Um, but yeah, so just kind of, you know, plugging on through. Um, I definitely uh, think that Luna is continuing to improve. We're actually cutting back on her, um, I'm, I'm cutting back on her meds a little bit, which obviously might have, you know, will have an effect, but we're going to, you know, ease back slowly on that stuff. But uh, she's just definitely seems like she's doing a lot better, you know, things that I kind of hadn't realized I missed with like, but, uh, you know, she's, she's doing better. And, uh, you know, she's, she's a very sweet little dog she's on the floor over there. Um, yeah, so that, that feels good. It feels good. I went ahead and I registered for the next improv class session, which they're having the Musical 201 class, uh, Musical Improv 201, which uh, I'm excited to take because I really liked imp Musical Improv 101, and so now we'll continue my uh, education. In, yeah, I guess that's the right word. I don't know why I made a face. Uh, yeah. It's all good. All of it. All good. It's all good. Are we clear? Are we clear? You understand what I'm talking about? All of it. It's all good.
I'm still a little bit loopy, I think. Yeah. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Needs more caffeine, I think. All right. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow for five more minutes.